from deep. And they will review it. Here it is. That's a tough angle. This will be a better one. Wow, they called that a three. I think that's got to stand. I'm, I'm not yep. sure that, you know, I mean, that's really close. I don't think that there is definite enough to overrule it because they called it a three yep. originally, and I think they'll probably stay with that ruling. It looks as though that right foot was just a hair behind the line. On that desperation three with 10.6 as Horford is looking over the shoulder of Mike Woodson. You see how... He'll call it the three officials huddling. Now Scotty Skiles is going to put in his free throw shooting team here and try to drop a little play. He's over there. Scott's great. Scott's the master of drawing up plays. He's got a great, very creative basketball mind. He's great after timeouts, and he'll get something set up here where one of, where one of his best um, free throw shooters will handle the ball. Still looking, waiting. Horford. Is it a three or is it a two? Initially called a three. They wanted to review it immediately. And you can see the look now. And all of the Hawks are over there. Crawford says it's a three. And now Mike Woodson has their attention, it appears. If you're Scotty, right now, you're in that huddle, you're saying, option A, let's get it to Luke Ridenauer, shoot 91%. Option B, let's get it to Selman, since he's been in Milwaukee, he's shooting 87%. And the C option would be Jennings, which is a pretty good C option at 82%. So those are the guys that he wants to get the ball into. Salmons in the playoffs is 23 of 24 from the free throw line, and that call is still under review here with 10.6 to go. Right now, a two-point game. And John Salmons with a fourth quarter. Defensively, he has just been outstanding here in game five. Limiting to Joe Johnson to 13 points. Well, you called it, Matt. I, I mean, as impressed as I am with him taking the ball to hold and doing a lot of stuff, his defense tonight has impressed me so much. I mean, that guy took the challenge, and, and wow, when you're here live watching him, he is just fighting on every possession. And here you can see how close it is. It's, let's take a look at that, Matt. And this is what they're looking at. So close. Oh, that's a half inch between there and the, and the line. That's a three. And he banked it in, too. Give it to him. They... <laughs> <laughs> For what degree of difficulty Absolutely. There? I mean... All right, look at all... I mean, you can see why it took... So close. The initial call, a three. Mark Davis, Dick Bavetta, Joe DeRosa still there. Joe DeRosa saying it's a three. The rolling stands. 89-87. So close. Even with the video review, but a call stands. It's a three. Horford with a huge night, a double-double. 25 points for Horford, a new playoff career best. Jennings. Jennings gets fouled by Crawford. Nine seconds left in a single possession game. A little thing, but I really like that. They, they brought him all the way up to the, the two best free throw shooters, Matt. They brought him all the way up to the half court line, and they had a long way to run and gain momentum and get the ball. And nice play drawn up there by Scotty. As soon as we're done here, off to Denver for. Game five with Utah up three to one. Jennings, what a performance by the rookie. Fourth quarter, 14 to 17, the Bucks. Getting to the line, getting both there. 15 of 18. 
Crawford, the three, no. Rebound, Jennings, game five, belongs to the Bucks. Fear the deer. Yes, sir. <laughs> Great win. We talked about it in the open. I'll tell you what. We said, if you're going to win the game, it's you win game five. You won two at home. You bring that momentum coming here. And I tell you, great game. Milwaukee closes it out, Kevin, on an 18-5 run. Let's go to Dick Stockton in Denver.